Hi everyone, it's been a really busy year at MDC this year and we're closing off 2018 with what I reckon is going to be a game changer in caravans for the family. I have behind me the XT16 family and I'm going to walk you through it now and it is absolutely amazing. First of all, all the usual things that you expect in an MDC caravan, a generous fridge slide so you get a decent sized fridge in there, excellent kitchen, usual Thetford appliances that you expect, good serving area at the back at the end here, plus a handy windbreak so cooking outside just became a little bit easier. Other things you expect, nice generous sink, fixing water to the sink and it'll be hot and cold water plumbed all the way to there. Three burner stove, excellent to cook on, handy. Auto igniter as well, so you can plug it into your power source and you've got auto ignition, so you're not searching for matches and a lighter, that sort of thing. As per most of our caravans, handy little drop town table in a perfect position, so you can do all your cooking, places to prep and serve, bench there, it is ergonomically, it's excellent. Cutlery drawer, generous storage drawer, and again, good access to the hoses and connections underneath the sink. Everything you expect from MDC in the kitchen, it's fantastic. Nice big windows, great for ventilation. Electric awning, we're so used to having these now, we put it on. Also, something we haven't set up, but it is very, very tricky. We've got side, side walls, walls and floor and a draft skirt to turn this awning into an annex as well. So that is excellent. Something that you may not have noticed on the models coming through, easy access jacking points. On our caravans too, you can get a high lift jack under that, makes life a lot easier. Plus we've still got the jacking point under the trailing arm to take a bottle jack, excellent. Now if you want to follow me inside, the first thing we get to, 140 litre refrigerator. Look at that. That's a lot of beer, a lot of eggs, a lot of steak, freezer section, chiller at the bottom for your veggies. And have a, have a look at this back wall. It is all cupboard space. Plenty of folded clothing space, big generous drawers. Got three of those piece of room for the kids stuff and some hanging space so mum can uh, hang her stuff up keep it neat and tidy overhead cupboards up here all on gas struts it's actually quite deep in there it's excellent and very very easy to use control panel everything you need to get to right there inside the caravan we've got our water tank water level gauge which will tell you the levels on both the 85 litre freshwater tanks and the 85 litre grey water tank. Grey water tanks, very important nowadays, so many national parks won't let you camp unless you've got one. All the usual tricks that you expect from an MDC. And one of the best things, an ensuite. So I'm no little little fella and there's plenty of room for me to shower in here good head space fan and vent just above the on your head here come in and have a look there's a nice little rack here for your toiletries shampoos soap and the Thetford toilet excellent unit Got a handy sink and basin here. And a mirror. For those who like to look at themselves. So look at that. Well, I'm six foot four and weigh well over the ton and I can get my elbows out in, in here to shower. So that is an excellent size, that one. I'll take you through the rest of the van. Now, with the east-west configuration in this van, 
is a huge bed. More than enough room for myself and the wife. We both fit in here easy, so I'd be very amazed if people don't find that comfortable. And what the wife would consider mandatory, a Sirocco fan just above the bed. So, which is excellent. All the usual fitments, we've got 12 volt USB, uh, pre-wired connections for our antennas, so we can put an antenna up to watch TV. Down lights everywhere, plenty of LED. Very, very bright in here. What two bunks for the kids on this side. Now, each bunk actually has its own reading light, as does the two reading lights on the main bed. A 12 volt and a USB port. So the kids can plug in their iPads or whatever while they're in bed, uh, watch videos or whatever till they fall asleep. Or if they're readers, put the light on and they can read. Built in ladder to the top bunk. So that's actually quite sturdy. So the kids can climb into themselves. And the top bunk has a, a built in safety rail, which is good. So you want the kids safe. Now, I'll show you what is very, very cool. Not groundbreaking, the table can be moved around, but if we lock this one down, move it across, our four berth became a five berth with an extra adult, or a six berth. So if you've got a lot more kids than me, and you want a caravan we can take them all, this is it. So you'll easily fit two kids on that one. It's quite long, so it will fit a, an adult on there as well. So, how's that? Six berth, full off-road, all the electronics that you want, air conditioning, air conditioning, uh, Fans, lights, everything ready to go. More overhead cupboard space here. Honestly, the volume of storage in this is absolutely incredible. I, you would need four kids to fill it, I would think. And all the usual things that you expect in the terms of electronics from MDC. I'll just get under the seat and I'll show you through here. We have a thousand, thousand watt inverter, all wired up, ready to go and all the projector gear that you know and love. We've got a DC to DC that will handle charging the batteries from your vehicle and from the solar. We've got our 35 amp projector charger, seven stage, does everything. So it will take great care of the batteries. And currently two batteries in there. So that's 200 amp hours of power. Lots of voltage protection in there as well. Everything you're used to seeing in our caravans, we take great care. So we'll pop outside, we'll have a bit more of a look around. External speakers, Kenwood stereo inside, internal speakers as well. Two spare tyres. And have you noticed how cool these black alloy mags look? A cassette here for removing the toilet cartridge. Outdoor shower. Great if the kids are a bit muddy. Also, our rail across the top to put the outdoor shower tent up. Windows for each bunks as well, so keep the kids cool. Usual flue for our hot water system. Truma 14 litre boiler as usual. Great little unit, so You've got plumbed hot water there, ready to go. Inlet for your mains water, so you can run off mains pressure. And storage, storage, storage. It's our shower tent in there. Plenty of room in there for, you know, say a three kVA generator. So if you want to get out in the bush and run the air conditioner, you can do it. Plenty of room to store it. More front boot storage. There's our additional hardware and all the canvas for the walls and floor and draft skirt for the, to go under the awnings to make even more enclosed room. Our 240 volt mains inlet there. 
takes two nine kilo gas bottles and two jerry cans at the front plus we've got our external spotlights so you can see what you're doing when you're hitching up unhitching and doing all those things if you're like me and you happen to turn up at your campsites at 9 30 at night also a tap on the draw bar so you can get water from external of the caravan anytime you want nice and handy on the inside of the draw bar where it's well protected DA35 hitch absolutely wonderful hitch quiet and engineered well above anything that we were able to find on the market so there you go folks brand new model it is very very exciting extremely versatile so if you've got a bigger family and you want to get off the beaten track remember this is a full off-road caravan I don't know where you'll find anything else like this but we are so excited to bring this to you and we look forward to showing you in our in our showrooms